So far, we have seen how to create pivot tables. Now it's time to learn how to share these reports. Now you'll say, what is there to learn? I know how to do it. Just attach it to an email and send it by CC. Yes, of course, this method works for decades. But in spite of that, in today's context, this is the most inefficient method. Why is it so? Because it's repetitive. More data means new report and more CCs and attachments. Another issue is, most companies have a limit on how large an email can be. If the Excel file size is large, it exceeds the limit and then you can't send it by mail at all. In which case, you have to copy paste the pivot table as values and send, which defeats the purpose because the interactivity is lost forever. Because there is periodic update of data, we also save too many snapshot copies and versions and then get completely confused. The root cause is, there is no single place to look for a single report. Of course, there is a solution, which is to use either OneDrive or SharePoint to disseminate reports. The concept is simple. Keep the Excel file containing pivot tables in a single place and let others come there and view it. The file is not going anywhere. So, let's see this in action. Here is a file with 5000 rows of raw data. I have also created a dashboard using three pivot tables, three slicers and one chart. Now, let's save this to OneDrive. This is the single predictable place for this report forever. Now, instead of attaching this to an email, we are going to share it with others. There are two ways of doing it. One is to click on the file menu, go to share options and choose invite people. If you have Office 2016 or above, it's even simpler. Just click on the share button on the ribbon itself. In either case, you get this dialog. Enter the name or the email ID of the recipient. And notice the most important thing now. For the first time, you have control over what other people can or cannot do to your file. In this case, we do not want to allow editing, just viewing. And the sharing is done. Now, here is another thought. Suppose this is a monthly report. What are you going to do next month? Of course, you will open the file in Excel from OneDrive, append more data, refresh pivot tables and save the file. That's it. Next month, you are not going to send anything. Why? Because the link has not changed. Only the data got updated. This reduces your workload as well. This is about sharing. Now, let's see what happens at the other end. I have shared this file with a user called Demo. Now, let's log in as Demo and see what happens. First of all, Demo user received a mail with the link to that file. So, the original file size doesn't matter any longer. Clicking on the link opens the Excel file, but not in Excel. It opens in a simple browser. Notice this is Chrome browser. It supports all major browsers. But even though it is a browser page, it's fully interactive. Filters, slicers work as expected. Not just that. There is another tab here, which allows you to get full user interface showing field list. And you can actually change the structure of the pivot table itself. But that's not all. There is another benefit, which is not so obvious. All reports are shown almost instantly. How does this happen? Simple, because the Excel file is being opened on the server. Servers are fast. What is coming across the wire is just an HTML page, which requires very low bandwidth. Now, of course, all this goodness will have some limitations. So, let's understand them and resolve them as well. The report sheet is what we want. But you can see that the raw data is also seen on the browser. What's the point? In most cases, we don't want to show the raw data. The solution is quite simple. Go back to Excel, File menu, and notice this button, Browser View Options. It's a very powerful button. By default, it shows the entire workbook, which means all sheets. But open this drop down and choose Sheets. 
and select only the report sheet. Now, save the file, refresh the browser and see what happened. There you have it. The data tab is gone. Gone as in gone from browser view. It's very much there in the original Excel file. The dashboard is available. Data is hidden. Job done. When we try to change the structure of the pivot table on browser, there is another limitation. I am choosing this pivot table and adding one more field in the column area. It needs more columns now, but it cannot add those columns. Why? Because as a rule, one pivot table cannot overlap on another one. And that is why you get this error message. The solution is simple. Prevent pivot tables from overlapping. So let's go back to Excel file and uh, I'm moving each pivot table to its own sheet. So there is no expansion limit. You can see one pivot table at a time, which may not be as nice as seeing all of them together like a dashboard. Another problem is slicers are seen only in one of the worksheets. So if I filter on something, other worksheets and other pivot tables will get filtered, but I will not remember what was the filter condition. Don't worry, there is a better option available. In Excel, go back to browser view options and choose items in this workbook. Here it is not showing sheet names, but actually pivot table and pivot chart names. Select the ones you want and save the file. Here if you find the names like pivot table 1, pivot chart 3, Cancel this dialog, go back, put sensible names and then come back. Now let's save the file and refresh the browser. Oh man, I am sure you did not expect this. Suddenly, a completely different and nicer structure has automatically appeared. No programming, no special configuration. On the right side, there is a thumbnail of each report we have chosen or each element. On the left side, slices are arranged neatly and the report can be manipulated by clicking on the right side, choosing the visualization you want. You can still play with pivot tables, restructure them without worrying about overlapping. The slices are visible irrespective of which pivot table or chart is visible. Isn't that brilliant? To summarize, there are three ways of sharing pivot table reports using OneDrive or SharePoint. First one is create a single sheet with multiple visualizations and share only that sheet. If you want full interactivity, put each pivot table on a separate sheet. Third option is a combination. I am sure you are realizing the power of this new and refined approach for sharing reports. So start using this concept in your day-to-day -day work and see the difference.